So last but not least, we have to talk about edit mode, assign materials. Basically in object mode, you can press Alt M and it'll bring up your material menu where you can assign the materials quickly by just grabbing them from the list of materials that you have available in your scene. Or you can generate a random material by just choosing blank material. You also have these same luxuries in edit mode. In order to understand this, we must of course review the fact that when you apply seam and you do something like sharpen, the edges will be marked in a way where whenever you're in face mode, you're going to be able to grab regions. And so I use this all the time when it comes to shading things very quickly. So we can actually grab this area here, press Q and choose to add a blank material, which now has shaded this area uniquely. Let's try that one more time. And now we've actually shaded this area uniquely. I don't know what happened the first time there. When we could do the same thing with these two pieces, select them, add a blank material. We've just added a blank material. It may not look like it, but in object mode, we still have the ability to say, control roll through these material scrolls and even jump to other materials and randomly scroll through what we want them to be. So we could actually press C, change it to be color materials if we want, scroll up, jump to the next material, shift scroll, jump to the next one and scroll through endless iterations of what materials this could be as well. And then finally at the end, you know, we'll press C and get out of color and roll back to some of these darker shades and find a nice one and just stop there. But when it comes to edit mode, we also want to make sure that users are able to add materials as needed. So here, if I were to try to select this area, it would be painful. So let's just take a moment to hit it with a sharpen, which should make it where I can now press L and actually select this region. But let's actually refine our selection a little bit so it's a little sharper. So I'm just grabbing this loop around we're just going to mark it as sharp because for this example, I did apply a few too many mods. So I kind of met, made a mess of things, but we're still going to be able to get to the home stretch through this. We just have to do a few more clicks than usual. So we've marked this as sharp and in face mode. Now we've, what did I miss? All right. I guess I missed this area and what I miss on this side. I missed these two also on the same side. So we go back into face mode and we're able to select this entire boundary and we can go under material and just assign a blank material. Or if we control click on material scroll, we can just scroll through just blank materials and notice that it just hides everything indicating that it would be edit mode. So you can just focus on what you're scrolling through. And that's because we're in object mode. And then when we click, we're dropped back into edit mode and we're good to go to continue working on our model. So that's just in a nutshell, what you're able to do with the material options and edit mode. They're basically the same thing is object mode. However, after a bit of work, we now also have support for edit mode.